Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Tails, Sonic's best buddy, and Coco, Crash's little sister. Heroes often work on a team. You have the leader, you have the muscle, but neither are more prepared for a fight than the brains of the bunch. And that's where these two come in. Inventions, science mumbo jumbo, and all that stuff. Let's find out who's the better brainiac. This is Universes. Now, there isn't much info about the backstory of this guy besides the fact that he's a genius with two tails, so let's theorize with what little info we actually have. He was born with some freakish genetic abnormality that gave him two tails, and because he was born a horrific mutant, he was shunned and bullied by other animals. This left him a loner with his only friend being his own brain. He studied his abnormality, then biology, then all kinds of branches of sciences until he eventually became an inventor. According to Sonic X, Tails met his lifelong friend Sonic the Hedgehog by coming across his biplane, fixing it up, painting it, and even upgrading it. Ever since that bizarre encounter, the two have been working together for years to thwart every last plan of the evil Dr. Eggman. Tails is a speedy little fella too. One of the main reasons Sonic let Tails join him is that he could actually somewhat keep up, but obviously he's not nearly as fast, so he needs a little extra to stay on track. Luckily for Tails, his abnormality came in handy. He can spin his two tails like a helicopter propeller to fly. He can even just spin them on the ground to attack foes. And while he may not have the homing attack of his blue buddy, Tails can still perform the spin dash. With this move, he can skid himself across the ground to slice through metal robots like a saw blade. These fancy moves are cool and all, but what's a genius without their gadgets? And Tails has plenty. He has a healthy arsenal of dummy rings. They look like the real thing, but explode once you touch them. He has a healing device that can repair damage, he has an arm cannon that fires golden electrical projectiles, and he even has a robot that can generate force fields. Last but not least is his powerful mech. It can fire projectiles and target multiple foes at once. This mech even has a plane mode. It can transform and allow Tails to fly, carrying his mech anywhere because his mech is the plane. In his mech, Tails is able to sneak into and power through multiple high-security facilities, even able to defeat some of Eggman's deadliest machines. Out of his mech, though, and with the help of some gadgets, Tails is able to combat with Sonic in his base form and even Knuckles. Sonic in his base form was powerful enough to defeat Perfect Chaos, a water monster the size of a city. He can keep up with Sonic's casual running speed, which constantly breaks the sound barrier, and his tornado is fast enough to keep up with Eggman's ships. In fact, bullets and projectiles from his tornado are actually strong enough to deal heavy damage to these ships. And like I've stated tons before, Tails is incredibly smart, his IQ reaching numbers of 300. Tails once invented an alien translator and he claims to be smart enough to be able to make a TV out of paper clips or reprogram a supercomputer with dishwasher detergent and a toothpick. Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense, but who am I to say that? I'm not the one with the IQ of 300. But let's see if Coco Bandicoot has anything to combat the brains, bots, and biplane of Miles Tails per hour. Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right, good to go! Cool! Okay, um, Coco has less information on her backstory than Tails. Nothing about genetic abnormalities, nothing about how she met Crash, is she born or created? Yeah, that's right. This girl has so little story that we don't know if she was actually like this or if she was genetically enhanced by Dr. Cortex like Crash was. Ugh, such an underrated character in the series. I hope they give her a proper origin in the Insane Trilogy. Anyways, yes, Coco Bandicoot is Crash's little sister. Actually, not much more really needs to be said. She uses her big brains and intelligence to help Crash defeat the evil Dr. Cortex. Sometimes she'll even step in and do the dirty work herself, saving the day with her wide arsenal of skills, animals, and vehicles. But first, let's take a look at what Coco herself can do. Like her brother Crash, Coco is very skilled in platforming various areas, and she's an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat relying on powerful kicks. She can launch foes away with a roundhouse or trip them up with a sweep kick. Coco can even slam on the ground so hard it creates shockwaves. Coco borrows even more from her brother Crash in the form of a magical mask known as Aku Aku. With Aku Aku, Coco can shield, surf, or even mind control. Just like Crash, Coco can combat and knock out several gigantic mutants and use Aku Aku to control them to do whatever she wants. Aku Aku 
can even magically store up mutants for Coco to use whenever she needs them. Aside from that, though, Coco also has a wide arsenal of vehicles. Well, one of them's not exactly a vehicle, it's a tiger cub by the name of Pura. It can jump long distances and charge forward with a speedy, powerful sprint. Coco has a propeller-powered airplane that can fire bullets to take down enemies, a spacecraft that can rapid-fire lasers, and a mini warship that can drop mini bombs, fire laser beams, and generate electric force fields. With some of these vehicles, she's able to take down many of Cortex's ships. She shot down blimps and even space stations. Her piloting skills are also good enough to combat with the evil genius engine. Coco doesn't need all these fancy motor vehicles to be fast, though. With nothing but a scooter, she was able to outpace a tsunami wave, which typically travels at 50 miles an hour. But that's just how fast she can ride a scooter. In combat, she's able to keep up with Dr. Cortex, who can react to point-blank lightning bolts. In strength, Coco should be able to scale to her brother Crash, and she can defeat the exact same enemies and also take down large mutants. And we can't forget how smart she is. Most of the inventions and vehicles she used are ones she made herself. Coco is smart enough to manage a time-traveling warp station and learned so much from the experience that she could even make one of her own. Coco's IQ hasn't been specifically stated, but judging by all these inventions, we can assume it's pretty high. I mean, heck, the girl found a way to recycle butter. That's pretty impressive. Tails is gonna have to pull out a lot to beat butter recycling. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Hey everyone, this is Jonas Jedekar Babaskas, and welcome to another Let's Predict Universes. Um, today it's going to be nice and short. We got Tails from Sonic versus Coco from Crash. And I'm a huge fan of both of these characters, so I thought uh, I'd do a prediction video for this. This will only happen when I have an interest in both of the characters. If I have an interest in just one, then I won't do it. If I have an interest in neither, then I won't do it. There we go. But if I have an interest in both, this is what's going to happen. Alright, so I'm just going to keep it nice and sweet. Um, uh, Tails wins with relative ease. Um, <laughs> uh, he, he's much stronger, faster, uh, probably tougher, and has a wider, more destructive arsenal. He, he essentially has every single advantage over... Uh, Coco, with the exception of maybe uh, experience, um, and I think, yeah. Um, although Coco is no slouch either, she is smart enough to fly a plane. She's like without any like prior training, at least I don't think. Um, uh. So, really, if you think about it, this is very similar to um, Screw Attacks of Venom vs. Bane, uh, if you really think about it, because um, uh, well, one character has a crap ton of advantages over the other, um, but uh, the, while the other only has, like, one. Uh, so that's... That's really how I see this fight going. I really don't need to explain it because from what I've seen, everyone is pulling for Tails. Um, uh, although I will say that in terms of who I personally prefer, I do prefer Tails. I, I'm i a huge Crash fan. I grew up with the series. Well, I'm more of a fan of Crash than I am of Sonic. But in the end, I'm going to pick Tails to win this fight. And I hope this continues my uh, streak that started with Croc versus Banjo. I hope this continues it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and Leopold the Brave, you do you, and uh, hopefully we'll see this video in the actual episode. Go Tails! Took so long to upload a video, and today I will be doing my universe's prediction on Tails versus Coco. I'm going with Tails. Tails is, um, I believe, faster, stronger because he can lift up 10 tons. Um, he is, of course, smarter because he has an IQ of 300 and stuff like that. So that's a lot of who I think would win. Tails. Tails is also probably more agile. I'm just kidding, not agile. He's probably um, a lot more powerful, a lot more skilled, because Coco's a girl. I'm just kidding, I don't mean to sound like a sexist piece of garbage, but 
It's true, and Tails might be more skilled and stuff like that, but that's who I think would win, so see you guys later. And the results are in. The winner is... Tails. You know, I don't get it. After I did my third Tekken matchup, you're like, Ugh, you use Tekken too much. But now I'm doing Tails vs. Coco, my third Sonic character and my third Crash character, and no one's complaining. What's the deal, guys? What's the deal? Anyways, on to the results. Let's begin with the vehicles. Tails outclasses Coco in convenience, even though Coco outclasses him in numbers. Tails is able to access all of his vehicles much easier as they can transform. Plane mode, mech mode, you name it. Meanwhile, Coco can only use one at a time, and it's not like she's gonna have all of her vehicles with her to hop into once one of them gets destroyed. Then, when it comes to the strength of their vehicles, there's no contest. Sure, Coco can take down blimps and mini space stations, but Tails can do heavy damage to entire warships. Now, Coco could arguably be smarter, as her time travel warp room and other inventions are more impressive, and there's the fact that Tails is a bit naive and can fall for one of the oldest tricks in the book. You thought you could trick me with that fake empty, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real world? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. But Coco never uses her smarts in combat. She's an average fighter, and an average pilot who uses her machines like they're supposed to be used. Meanwhile, Tails was smart enough to sneak and power through high security areas with his mech. On foot, Tails is also much more impressive speed-wise. Coco can outrun a tsunami on a scooter, but Tails is able to keep up with a casual Sonic and Knuckles. This means Tails should be able to move at the speed of sound and react to combat speeds of about Mach 5. Coco may be able to scale the Cortex in speed, but that's still not enough. When it comes to strength, Coco is in even more trouble as all of her smarts went into inventions that act as vehicles. She's not gonna have dummy rings, healing bots, or shield bots with her like Tails will. Now, Coco does have lots of mutants on her side, but all they do is slow her down. Even if they were strong enough to deal heavy damage to Tails, they'd be much too sluggish to hit him in the first place. But hey, since Coco can use Aku Aku to mind control mutants, she could probably mind control Tails too, right? Yup, she totally could. The problem is that she needs to knock him out first, something she simply just doesn't have the means to do. With Tails having superior speed, experience, helper bots, and a more convenient arsenal, Coco gets crunched. The winner is Tails. Who's to Tails? Get ready for the next battle.